The Constitutional Court has dismissed a maternal health petition against government brought before it for interpretation. More than 30 civil societies jointly filed a suit challenging government's budget allocation to the health ministry and in particular the maternal health sector. Court heard that the government of Uganda previously made a commitment to allocate 15% of the budget to health, but over the last 10 years, the health ministry has received less than 10%. Human rights campaigners told court that this has resulted in the growing problem of maternal and infant mortality. World health statistics show that 16 women die every day in Uganda while giving birth and 76 of every 100 newborn babies die on their first day. The attorney general challenged the suit saying it's politically motivated and involves demands which the constitutional court cannot make. Prosecution cited a pronouncement on how much of the national budget can be allocated to a particular sector. Court has recommended that the petitioners file a complaint with Parliament, which they say has a mandate to investigate these kinds of demands. So we are saying it's a human rights petition and it ought to be given priority. Why is it? Well, to the judges, they do not have the mandate and that is work of the executive. And we are saying that we are appealing to the Supreme Court over that objection. 16 women are dying in Uganda every day and then the court must not turn away its face from adjudicating on these matters. What we have had today might look like a setback, but I don't call it a setback. It just gives us an opportunity to appeal this decision.